Okay, so today I want to talk about breaking the silly cycle that we are taught as young children, the old hat cycle that our parents and grandparents taught us about working until you're 65 and the average death age is maybe 74 or something and getting to enjoy perhaps, you know, nine years of your life if you live average. Many people die before they even turn 65 or die at 70 or whatever the case may be. I mean, you can literally die of natural causes in your early 70s or even much sooner. So I um, want to talk about breaking that cycle. I reject that cycle and that's why I moved to the Philippines at 45 because I don't believe in that. I believe that is old hat and I believe that may have made sense at some point. But in today's world of being a digital nomad and of unplugging from the matrix and leaving the West, I believe that no longer applies. Um, basically, that is a weird thing that we are taught that most people still abide by of just working and working and working until you secure maybe a few million bucks or hundreds of thousands of dollars so that you can retire in America where everything is sky high through the roof. Like you're gonna pay, you know, five dollars for a dozen eggs you're gonna pay uh you know fifteen hundred dollars with utilities to live in a terrible place unless you're in the midwest or in some little tiny place if you're in any major city you have to work so hard just to even have a decent quality of life not even a good quality of life if you're making three thousand a month you're barely scraping by in any major city if you're in maybe you know some rural town in the middle of nowhere maybe you can do a little bit better but at the end of the day i believe that that is just really old hat and then that that really is just unnecessary completely and that in today's world we have people retiring at 35 years old we have people retiring at 45 years old at you know 30 years old and even not just retiring but becoming a digital nomad whether that be a youtuber whether that be teaching cambly online whether that be um you know doing consulting whether that be whatever it is that you can do trading stocks crypto there's a million different things you can do to sort of unplug from the matrix and get to enjoy those prime years when you have that energy to walk 20 miles a day when you have that energy to really really go hiking and do all that stuff at 66 years old most of us won't even have that energy a lot of my fr uh, friends dads and stuff were like bedridden you know and just kind of you know watching tv and just kind of waiting to die as sad as that sounds my father is a rare you know case where he's still got some energy and he's got good genetics and he's uh beat the system essentially at 79 years old but for most of us that won't be the case a lot of people won't live to be 65 a lot of people won't live to be much older than say 73. so if you move to the philippines or you unplug from the matrix at 66 you don't really have that many good years and your energy level is going to be relatively low. So I want to talk about leaving early, whether that be 30, 40, 50, whatever it is, and just saying, you know what, this is old hat. This is actually not the rules anymore. Just like you don't have to marry your high school sweetheart and get the house, the white picket fence that the bank owns and you know, that you think you own, but you really don't own it and finance it for 30 years until you're 70 years old. And then get to enjoy a few years of sitting on the couch. No, 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 no. I think it's time to unplug from the matrix as early as you can. Whatever you got going, if you got some passive income, you got some rental properties, you're you know, good at trading short-term stocks or crypto, you become a YouTuber, you do the English thing, you do consulting, you do some type of online uh, digital dollars, even if you're bringing in a thousand bucks a month, you can come to the Philippines and have a great quality of life on an island like this a manila, whatever it is that you choose. But a lot of people just get stuck in that, uh, you know, thinking of our fathers and grandfathers and grandmothers and stuff where, nope, you work till you're 65, then you get to enjoy a few years when you're too old to enjoy it anyway. And, you know, and again, this doesn't go for everybody. I have a lot of viewers that are 60 years old that are in great health and my father is one of those guys. But for the majority of people, your energy level is gonna be extremely low at 66 by the time you get over to these white sand beaches. So I want people to disconnect, unplug, and escape the matrix like I did early. A lot of my guys that watch me are 23, 30 and stuff, and I think, man, 
I wish YouTube existed back when I was that age, or I wish I would have figured this out 15 years early. Hey, better late than never. And many people look at me and think this guy's way early. And they're, you know, 50, 60, 65, or a couple years older than me. But at the end of the day, YouTube exists. You can see this stuff boots on the ground. You don't have to just, you know, um, stick with that old hat nonsense of you marry your high school sweetheart, you work 60 hours a week till you go bald and stress out. Then you, you, you know, no, you don't have to do any of that. You can come to a beautiful place like this where they speak English, you can live on the beach for $250 a month if you score a deal like me or depending on what islands you go to, you can eat good food and you can just, you know, hang out on the beach all day. You can do your little digital business from your phone or your iPad. We live in a digital world where it's not, you know, it's not what it used to be. It's definitely um, many people making a lot of money on the internet. And, and if, even if you just have say $400,000 or something, you can just come over here and live. If you just live modestly or you don't do like, you know, you don't start supporting seven people or something, you can just live a modest lifestyle and just enjoy yourself. You could be enjoying this little secret beach back here. You could be enjoying eating those shrimps and just walking the beach randomly. People always go, oh, what do you do out there? I'm on like semi-retire mode. You know, I do YouTube, I do other things, but at the end of the day, it's not about the action, 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 racing so important and walking so fast and desperate to get to the next thing, to be the big shot and stuff. You're essentially enjoying your days. You're watching the boats go by. You're having random conversations with strangers. You're just going to the coffee shop and just relaxing. You're kicking your feet up. If you're looking for action, 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 stay in the United States, move to New Orleans, move to Vegas, go to Manila or something and hang out at Publishon or you know Burgos or something. You come to an island, you're kicking your feet up. You're either with your girl enjoying the island or you're rolling solo and just, you know, meeting girls or hanging out, uh, doing like what I'm doing. I mean, it's not about, oh, it's boring, this and that. Well, maybe it is boring for you. This isn't, it wasn't about it being exciting and me seeing a, a boxing match every five seconds or, you know, going to strip clubs or something. It was just about escaping the matrix, enjoying the beauty of these beaches and, you know, exercising and hanging around, shooting videos, taking pictures and just enjoying the boats and the water and the beautiful women and just, you know, this is a, this is a paradise right here. Look at this secret little hidden beach back here. You got the boats out on the water. I mean, at the end of the day, I want you guys to give, you know, unplugging from the matrix. What you need to do is do a 30 day discovery trip. But the real goal is to get people at 25, 35, 45, even 55, when you're way far away from what is proper American retirement age and saying, you know what, I've had enough. I'm, I'm gonna cut out early. I got $400,000. I got a gig that brings in 1,000, 2,000, whatever. And that might not be sufficient in the States. And in the States, you'd have to work till you're 100 years old and have 2 million bucks in order to be okay in case you live to be 100. But if you come out here, you can live a good life for very little money. If you need help, assisted living or a cook or a, a person to clean your home or even a live-in, you can get that for a hundred bucks, 200 bucks at the most. I mean, it's like, why would you go to a retirement home and pay 3,500 for what you could live here like a star and have help, have a cook, have a, have a live-in maid or whatever you need for a couple hundred bucks, a hundred bucks. I mean, it's like, the, the biggest no-brainer ever invented in the planet. It's just a lot of people don't know about it or people are scared to get on that plane or, oh, I'm gonna get robbed or it's dangerous or, oh, I gotta check in with the embassy or this and that. Listen, there's no danger. Be mindful of yourself. Be careful with having your phone out in public in like Manila or something. But outside of that, this is way safer than the United States. There's shootings every five minutes. There's road rage. There's this, there's that. There's, everyone's talking about the sniffles and Biden and Trump and this and that. Listen. You can escape all that, exhale, drop your blood pressure quite a bit, and you can just escape the matrix whenever you're ready. You got several hundred thousand dollars, you got a digital nomad gig, you blew up on YouTube, you're doing Cambly, the English teaching service, you know, anything like that, you're golden. You can just come out here. If you ever fail someday or some emergency comes up or your family needs you, your passport is strong, you can just go home. It's not like a big thing where you've like signed a contract to stay here forever or something. So at the end of the day, you just got to uh, unplug from the matrix and escape the West. The West is not uh, good for men anymore, unless you're a 
six foot six with eight pack abs movie star the west is not for you you could be walking through this cave on this secret beach looking at these private resorts and these long white sand beaches with boats everywhere you don't need to be stuck in the matrix working your ass off angry groundhog day eat sleep repeat every single day of your life you can just check out and come to the philippines you can go to anywhere south america anywhere else in southeast asia i promote the philippines i live here they speak the language the philippines is really the best but at the end of the day you go wherever you gotta go and uh definitely leave the west and your value will be raised your life will be less stressful your money will go tenfold and you can really really enjoy the quality of life that you deserve rather than working until just working yourself to death and following that old hat hundred year ago nonsense that our parents taught us about staying in the workforce until you're 65 marrying your high school sweetheart all that i reject all of that and i say hello to this beautiful life that i live now so i just want to show people that it can be done i did it i'm here i didn't have a buddy that ever did it I didn't have a friend here. I didn't have a girlfriend here. I didn't meet a girl at the airport to handcuff me at the airport. I just came out here and did it on my own. You can take your time, your high value here. There's less of uh, uh, you than there is them. So you can make the choice. It's so hard to get into that mind frame that I'm in the driver's seat. I'm the prize because in America, you are definitely not the prize unless you have a hundred million dollars and you're famous and you have this or you have that. So the end of the day just wanted to give that message to people that need to unplug and leave that old hat nonsense of working till 65 uh in the in the garbage can and come to the philippines all right like comment subscribe share the video and sana all